Okay, let's take a look at one more thing. See if this makes uh, clear this clears this up because this is all pretty confusing stuff. I'm going to launch the ex the exposure contraption, and uh, this is pretty. This is a pretty fun thing. I've never really seen one of these before, but it's a pretty fun thing. So here's the contraption. I'm going to go full screen on this beauty. Okay, so basically what this is, is it explains the relationship between the amount of light that you have over here on the left, top left, the sensitivity of your camera on the bottom left, the f-stop on the top right, and the shutter speed on the far bottom right. And it's got a it's got the uh, dial for exposure in the center. Down here at the bottom is the dial for the light and at the bottom below that's the dial for the ISO. So if you move one of those devices it moves the uh, the scale. Over here at the bottom is the aperture and the shutter speed. So let's look at this. I'm at looks like I'm at pretty pretty bright sunlight. This looks like a, a lot of light. I don't know how I don't know what it is in terms of measurement, but it seems like a lot of light. And if I turn the light down, watch what happens. As I turn the light down, the exposure starts to go down too. So with almost no light, I'm off the exposure chart here. I don't start coming back for a while. Also make some freaky noises. So somewhere around here is the right exposure. Okay, now let's say I increase the ISO. Whoa, goes the other way. So if I increase the ISO, the I, I put more a higher ISO, adds more weights to the ISO, and the exposure goes to the plus. So I'll bang that back down here. Oop. Let's go somewhere in here. Looks like two is the one. What if I what if I change the aperture and let's say I open it up so I have a wider opening? So I'll take I'll take some things off of this thing. This lets more light in. And then as I open the aperture, the exposure oh, the exposure gets overexposed. If I if I make the shutter speed faster and add things to the shutter speed then it starts to it starts to go back where it needs to be so the concept here is that between the between the light the amount of light on the left and the ISO you can control how the exposure is okay so if you get this off off kilter if you don't have enough if you don't have enough f stop letting light in and you don't have your uh, shutter speed open enough. You, you have too few light. Let's let's turn the light down a little bit and watch what happens as I change this. I'll put the light down here. Okay, so I'll bring it to about here. It takes a while to settle down, like a long time. <laughs> this is tinky. There we go. Okay, so I am two stops underexposed. So what can I do to get two stops underexposed? Well. I can add some ISO to this. Bang. Or I could take away some aperture. So now I'm just letting more light in. The aperture lets more light in. Or I could move the shutter speed down to a level that I can handle. And I never want to go below a 60th unless I'm on a tripod. And for video, you never want to go below a 60th. In fact, you almost always stay at a 60th all the time. So that's the concept of how if you if you change one thing on one side, you have to change you change something on the other. 